SU Animate 3.1 has new features to further streamline the animation process, as well as increase the complexity of animations that can be made. SU Animate 3.1 has the following new features. The ability to animate components, nested animation, animation preview controls, and target per path options. Now that SU Animate can utilize components, once a component is given a name above the definition name in the Entity Info window, it will appear in the Animation Parameters window. Here, the Bike Frame component has been given the name Frame and assigned to the main animation path. SU Animate now has the ability to perform nested animations. Nested animations allow the user to create animations such as the wheel of a car rotating as it moves along a path. In this example, the wheels and pedals both utilize nested animation. To create the nested animation for the rear wheel, a circular path was created and then assigned to the component called rear wheel. The circular path and wheel component were then grouped together and named wheel 1. This group, wheel 1, containing the rear wheel and circular path, were then assigned to the main animation path. The same steps were followed for the front wheel and pedals. When previewing an animation, a control box will appear. The user will have the option of making the preview run faster or slower. The more times faster is pressed, the faster the preview will run. Similarly, the more times slower is pressed, the slower the preview will run. Pressing the cancel button will terminate the preview so the user can go back to editing the animation. Each unique path can have its own target assigned to it. The target per path option allows the user to switch between these targets. Since SU Animate will progress to the next path after one path has reached its end, if the next path is assigned to another target, the target is effectively switched and the camera will follow that target. Here we have two bikes, each assigned to different paths. The first path has the first bike assigned to it, with the first bike as the target. The second path has the other bike as the target. 